All right, drag race, drag race. Say it. Go. No way. No way. Hello. Today, I'm going to be upgrading this Razor MX650 to go from 14 miles an hour to 45 miles an hour. In the first part of this video, I'll walk you through everything I'm using to do the upgrade. Then I'll document the entire installation process and then give my first impressions. I can't wait. Let's check it out. Starting off, we've got a brand new Razer MX650. This is the dirt bike version of the RSF650 I used for my Minimoto project, which will be linked above. The entire powertrain upgrade for this project is a plug and play kit from Electro & Co, which will be linked down below. In the kit, you get a controller, a motor, and a battery. This battery is from Eon Lithium. This is actually the RSF650 upgraded battery, which I'm just using as a placeholder until I get the MX battery, which should be coming in today. Also included in the Electron Co kit, hydraulic disc brakes with upgraded discs, a key ignition with a voltmeter, as well as a throttle and upgraded grips. Additional parts I'll be throwing on are RSF650 wheels, which were generously sponsored to me from Razer, as well as the bike itself. For the display, I've got this Psych Plus wireless GPS display, which should give me my speed, range, and some other nice information. This is everything I'll be using to upgrade the bike in this video. Links will be down below. Let's get to it. Twenty minutes later. Okay, the bike is fully stripped. Time to throw on the mods. Please excuse the scratches. I was trying to install the motor before changing the sprocket and I scratched it up. So we got the motor on. I'm trying to throw on the supermoto wheels. It looks like I need a couple spacers that I don't have. So I'm gonna save that for another video. And instead I'm gonna throw on these upgraded off-road wheel sets that Razor also sent me. So this will be more of a dirt bike for this first iteration.
That's too big or some shit. Yeah, well, yeah, you gotta do this. Okay, the whole bike has been stripped and all of the upgrades have been put on the bike temporarily. I just want to see if it runs before I put everything back together. Really excited. Let's see. I'm going to unplug the charger. I oh, forgot this little guy. Display is on. 74 volts. I should just be able to hit the throttle. Let's see if it works. Let's go! Oh, it's over guys. Sun's down, but no problem. I got the Fisher Fab House headlight guiding the way. Time to start putting it all together. So now we've got a strap downwards and front and back. So that's staying. Got one more strap holding down the controller and now the insides are looking good. I'm just gonna throw the plastics on, the brakes and the throttle and we're good to go. Last look before the plastics go on. Got the brakes installed, battery, controller, motor, rear brake, upgraded off-road wheels. Time to throw the plastics on. Got the plastics on. Very last thing is to throw on a display. I got these two beautiful GPS displays from Psych Plus. I think I'm gonna put this one on the dirt bike and I'm gonna put this one on the Mini Moto. Okay, the bike is fully assembled. We've got the Electro & Co upgrade kit on here with the Eon Lithium battery that's all included in the kit. Hydraulic brakes, upgraded motor, controller. I've got this nice Psych Plus display on here. Ready to rip it. Here's my first impression. Let's go. I'm going to start off in the lowest mode. Nice. It's 
that's the lowest power mode already easily twice as powerful as the stock bike was <laughs> turn it up second mode <laughs> yeah oh man going to mode three so I'm, I'm on these uh the dirt wheels and i intend on putting the supermotos on <laughs> yeah so i'm actually going to take this to the dirt because that's what it's made for and in another video i'll put the supermoto wheels on let's see how this wheel is <laughs> oh, like a charm wow i'm in love with this very similar feel to the Mini Moto. It's the same company, Electro & Co. Almost the same kit, but in a totally different form factor. I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited to take this to the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't wheelie as well as the Mini Moto because of the wheels. Dirt, the knobby tires just don't wheelie well on the street. I'm about to take it to the dirt. And this is my transition. Here we are with UTV Chris hitting some dirt. Let's see it. Oh man. <laughs> it's got some good grip on the ground. Yep, 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 yep. I'm in mode two right now. This isn't even the highest power mode. The suspension's surprisingly cushy. Oh, there goes his phone. There you go, buddy. That's funny. How's your little bike running? Oh, it's awesome, dude. I'm loving this. Looks good. All right, drag race, drag race. No. No way. No way. It's faster than it's on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is so, so fun. Because it, it's got the suspension. It's got the brakes. It's got the power. That's for sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love this thing. Ooh, good thing I got a helmet on. <laughs> this is so fun. It's like a little, it's like a little 50 cc dirt bike, but with the power of more than a Saron. Come on. Easy, it's eating it up. Literally hill climbs like it's nothing. Oh my god, this is so fun! Oh, I don't want to interrupt him playing the trumpet. I am thoroughly impressed with this bike this is stock suspension but pretty much everything's upgraded all the links are gonna be down below we're on our way to a hill climb and that's gonna be the last test in this video after that next video I'm gonna be throwing some supermoto wheels on here see how well it wheelies on the street although honestly this is really fun to off-road and I kind of want to keep it as a dirt bike this is it yeah Oh, easy, easy. Oh. <laughs> it wheel, it's wheeling on me. This thing has a lot of power, dude. This is a beautiful trail. 
I'm not sure if you want to go down it. Steep. I'll go down it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a pussy. This is much steeper than the GoPro gives justice. I'm going to tell you that. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Oh my God, I'm whipping. I am more than blown away by this bike. The power to weight ratio is pretty much unrivaled. As we just saw, it almost, it, it does, it beats a Sauron off the line. It weighs close to nothing. Incredible power. Suspension surprisingly good. Uh, I'm sure there's room for improvement there, but shout out to Electron Co for making such an amazing kit. All the links are going to be down below. The battery is built by Eon Lithium, but it's included in the Electron Co kit. I got a lot more coming with this bike. So as always, stay tuned. Yeah.